the synthesis of 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid. Attention, nitric acid and sulfuric acid are caustic. Salicylic acid can cause severe damage to the eyes. 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid can cause irritations of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. The setup is a steering plate, an ice bath and a thermometer that is attached to a ring stand. First, 21 ml of concentrated nitric acid are added to a 100 ml beaker with a large steering bar. Later the steering bar will turn out to be too small. The beaker was put into the ice bath and the thermometer was placed in the nitric acid. When the nitric acid had reached 5 degrees C, about half of 42 milliliters of sulfuric acid was added. A mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid is also called nitrating acid. After mixing it becomes quite hot, which is why sometimes the acids are cooled before use. After the addition it was left to cool a bit. When the temperature went back to 20 degrees C, the rest of the sulfuric acid was added. In this case the temperature did only increase by a few degrees. In the mixture the following reaction takes place. At first the nitric acid is protonated by the sulfuric acid. Then water is split off and the nitronium ion is formed, which is able to react with lots of compounds. While stirring, 15 grams of salicylic acid were added in small portions. It's important that the temperature must not rise above 15 degrees C. At this point the stirring bar turned out to be too small because the viscosity of the mixture was too high to stir it sufficiently. The nitration of salicylic acid is exothermic. That is why strong stirring is important and prevents unwanted side reactions. The wanted product of the reaction is 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid, while 3 and 5-nitrosalicylic acid are also formed as side products. It is important to keep an eye on the temperature because it rises with a delay and the reaction can become dangerous. In addition to that, the ice had to be replaced frequently. The addition of the salicylic acid took about two hours. In the end, the mixture became highly viscous so the salicylic acid couldn't be mixed in so well. Turning the stirring plate off and on could solve this problem. At the end it was stirred for another five minutes. Then the mixture was taken out of the ice bath and added to 500 milliliters of distilled water with ice in it. The rest was washed out of the beaker with a bit of distilled water. It was then stirred and the main and side products began to precipitate. After a short period of time, the amount of precipitate was large enough that the mixture couldn't be stirred anymore. Then the precipitate was filtered off. A vacuum filtration with a Buchner funnel would be faster and more efficient. It was washed with a bit of distilled water to remove the majority of the acid. It has to be kept in mind that the main product is more soluble than the side products. The yellow color is due to the 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid. According to the paper, the main product can be easily extracted with cold water due to its solubility. Nevertheless, after filtering off and boiling down the solution, very pure crystals should form.
At this point it turned out that even the side products are dissolved easily, because those did precipitate out at first. The side products don't crystallize, instead they form little droplets that coalesce to form a big drop on the bottom of the beaker, which then becomes solid. After that the 3,5 dinitrosalicylic acid started to crystallize, so it would be easier just to recrystallize the raw product directly from distilled water. Then the crystals can be loosened carefully while it is taken care of that the side products stay on the bottom. After that the majority of the dinitrosalicylic acid was filtered off. Then the side products could be removed easily. The rest of the main product was filtered off and the beaker was washed out with water. It was then recrystallized again while the dinitrosalicylic acid already dissolved in the water that was present when heated. So after everything had dissolved more distilled water was added. At the end the solution had a volume of about 200 milliliters and was cooled in a fridge overnight. Needle shaped crystals formed which were again filtered off and washed with a bit of distilled water. To remove most of the water and speed up the drying process the crystals were covered with a filtering paper and the water was squeezed out with some paper towels. Then the dinitrosalicylic acid was loosened again, first dried at around 50 degrees C on the hot plate and at the end at around 100 degrees C. I obtained 6.7 grams of 3,5 dinitrosalicylic acid which is a yield of about 27%. There are two things that could lead to a better yield. The exact concentration of the concentrated nitric acid was not given in the paper, so it could have been higher. The salicylic acid has not been dried before the synthesis and the presence of water can slow down nitration reactions. This was the synthesis of 3,5-dinitrosalicylic acid. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment.